so we're going to dive straight in here. I'm starting off with the Benefit Brows Brow Primer and then the HD Brows by Illamasqua in the colour Foxy. Starting off with the darkest shade there um, just because it matches my eyebrows the best. Then we're going in with the P. Louise base in 0.5, carving out those brows and buffing into the eyelid and out with a fluffy brush. And then going in with the lightest green shade from the James and Morphe palette, the mini palette. I'm just creating the shape that I want here, patting on the colour so I get as much colour payoff as possible. Buffing it slightly up towards the brow as well and out towards the end of the brow. I'm then buffing this out slightly with the green shade from the Urban Decay Alice palette before going in with a darker green shade from the James and Morphe palette again, buffing this into the crease and out towards the end of the brow. Then going in with the same lighter shade from the James and Morphe palette and buffing that further up. And now that I've got the shape that I wanted, I'm just going in with some Vaseline, doing that lovely Vaseline trick to get rid of any excess product that I don't want on the cut crease. And then I'm going in with the blank canvas from the P. Louise Acid Rain collection, carving out my cut crease with a flat concealer brush before slightly buffing it out towards the colour. You'll want to go as slowly as possible when doing this step, just so you create the nicest, cleanest line you possibly can, and then patting the base so it becomes matte. I'm then taking the fluffy brush that I was using earlier and buffing that green colour into the base to make it more seamless and getting a nice gradient towards the lighter colour. And here I'm just adding a little bit of a white just to make the base stand out more against that green. Before then taking a small liner brush and using the darkest green colour lining the eye. I then just applied some of that green colour to the bottom lash line. Just going to do the other eye. Oh, there we go, done. <laughs> And now the Illamasqua Hydroville Primer, just to prime my skin, make it all nice and shiny. And then I applied a little bit of the MAC FX Primer onto my brush before going in with the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation in shade Salzburg, buffing this just all into the skin using a flat buffing brush. My skin's a little bit drier today, so I just applied some of that FX Studio Spray onto a beauty blender and patted into the skin. I then went in with the NARS concealer, just applying to any areas I wanted a little bit brightened up. Again, buffing in with the same brush before carving out my brows from the top with the same concealer. Buffing out upwards with a fluffy brush. I then applied a small amount of powder to my face just to make it more matte. I then applied the Benefit Hula Bronzer to my cheekbones, forehead, nose and jawline just to make my skin look a little bit more sun-kissed. Then applied some blusher to the apples of my cheeks. Applying my favourite highlighter to my cheeks and nose. I then added some of my cream highlighter and then again with the Illamasqua OMG powder. I then curled my lashes and added some of the Full 360 mascara from number 7 before diving in with my favourite lashes. Literally just got these massive pack of lashes from Amazon for like 8 quid, something like that. And you're ready for this transition? Oh, there we go, second lashes! <laughs> and then adding some Dr. Lip to my lips before going in with the liquid lipstick in the shade Weirdo from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Being a little bit messy but that's okay, we all make mistakes. <laughs> And we're done! <laughs> Thanks for watching guys, I really hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you want more of this kind of content. See ya! Bye!